Welcome to our Levy Wand tutorial on side and down stalls plus lines. What's up, Flomies? Jesse Hart of Full Circle Phenomenal here again. Welcome to the Sacred Flow Art Channel. Continuing on our basics of the Levy Wand next to the Giant Levy Wand. Be sure to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. We'll be releasing two new videos every single week in 4K Ultra HD. Let's get started. So the first thing we'll do is reset the levy wand gently and then push it from side to side. Not necessarily in any sort of form or fashion, just getting used to flowing it from side to side, maybe gentle up and downs, and eventually pushing it more and more from left to right and up and down, gently bouncing it until we're ready to push it all the way up overhead and see if you can stall it all the way down as still as possible. If it messes up, no sweat, move into it creatively and reset it. Practicing these side to side stalls is what's going to get us ready for the lines. So go ahead and move it in more and more of a fashion that really gets your illusion hand involved like you're really pushing and connecting with that levy wand. And then up and overhead and pausing as quickly and calmly as you can. And then up and over to the other side got a little bit of wind today so I'm also practicing combining the reset hand and the illusion hand as one process. You can always move into a float and then boom right back into the side to side or down stalls. Resetting, coming back to it. Let me show you that now in slow motion. Changing my shirt here also so you have an easier time of keeping track of that tether. The point of this is being able to recognize how we are shifting weight and moving the anchor hand which is connected with the levy wand alongside the illusion hand, creating the illusion like it's moving energy around the levy wand, creating your own magnetic field or using the force if you will. The wonderful thing about levy wand and about flow arts in general is that when you really connect with your prop and become one with it, it's like you're performing telekinesis. And stay till the end of this video to see how my telekinetic practice is actually going. The ultimate flow art, I call it. So witnessing this levy wand lift up and overhead, notice how I extend my whole body. I'm moving my center of gravity with the center of the levy wand, connecting with it more like it's an extension of my arm rather than just a dead prop. Practice also connecting with the space between the palm of your illusion hand and the levy wand and see if you can feel the energetic connection between the two. Recognizing that our flow arts is all about muscle memory. So if you can connect your whole body, not just the hand that's involved, but your whole body, other arm, head and legs, all getting connected with your prop, it's going to be that much more entertaining for you and for your audience. If you can maintain good posture and breath awareness as well, keep your pelvis scooped under and forward, take big, full, and slow breaths, that's going to really help with your learning curve as well. Let's do the opposite hand as well. Going for full mastery with the levy wand requires us not just focus on one hand, but using the other hand as well. Same practice, side to side, up and down, moving the levy wand in as many ways as possible. If it's interrupted, see if you can get it to work for you. It's not always about resetting it. Sometimes it's also about learning about how to get it to reset or just flow with it as it naturally wants to flow. You never know when you might invent something new or develop a particular technique that caters to you and your levy wand uniquely. Now let's go from side to side and turn 180 degrees, practicing our lines. So we shift from side to side, step, 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 step. See if you can do this just a couple of times and do it as smoothly as possible, moving your weight to one side as it side stalls, moving your weight to the other side side stalling and moving the leg in with it, rotating around your center of gravity and then pull it back in facing the opposite direction, pushing it back out, pull it back in and then come back the way that you came, step to step back in front of the body. See if you can practice your lines moving in both directions, both all the way around to your left and all the way around to your right. Put a down stall in between or any of the tricks that you've learned so far. Begin to incorporate it all together. Focusing on it 
choosing what trick you're about to do, but also getting so involved in your flow that it becomes rather effortless, which is what we call the flow state. And related to the push-pull energies of the side-to-side -side stalls and the lines, here's an update on my telekinesis practice, which is moving an object without touching it. Now, this might seem a little strange to you, but I believe it. I believe as we connect to an object as it is energy more than something physical, we can begin to move it by connecting with our own energy, the energy in the space between us and the prop, and the energy of the prop itself. It's one whole process and partnership. Okay. We start with something small and light that our minds believe that it's going to be easier to push than a large object and we just begin to feel the push-pull energies. If you're interested in this practice, I highly recommend heading over to the Full Circle Phenomenal YouTube channel and select one of the Qigong or meditation practices as they will really help you get connected with yourself and your prop. Yes! First time telekinesis, for sure. <laughs> Thanks for watching.